Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you some uh, books and art supplies that I've accumulated during the past uh, month or that I bought at the end of December. So we will dive right in. I'm uh, going to show three books and uh, all the rest are art supply stuff. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to show you is a Christmas coloring book and I'm sorry for the glare. It was in clearance in a, a discount shop in the Netherlands and I only paid 50 euro cents for this one and um, when I saw this picture I'm going to take a look. Belgian fries. French fries are most of the time a lot smaller and thinner than Belgian fries. Uh, they can be quite big, so I think he's eating Belgian fries. And there are other pictures, like here he's in Holland with the windmill and the tulips. And here he, he's eating a baguette in uh, France. I think maybe it's with cheese and tomatoes. So really adorable. I couldn't uh, pass that one up for 50 euro cents. And the paper quality is quite good. There's no, um, it's the, the print on the other side of the paper is hardly visible or not visible at all. So here he's in uh, another country. There are always, uh, he's in Italy here. So really enjoyable. Super cute book. I will be having a lot of fun during Christmas in July or in December when I will be uh, coloring Christmas pictures again. Of course, some of them are not that amazing like this one, but when the other Santa Claus is appearing, then it's becoming more interesting. And this one is cute too. So here's here is becoming more an adult Santa Claus, a more adult coloring book, in my opinion. So that's this one. Then I, like so many, have the Timeless Beauties special. I was very excited to see this one uh, appear in the Coloring Heaven uh, series. I don't have the book of Momo Girl and or her books, but because she has the second one out now. Uh, so I was very excited to be able to uh, grab this one um, because the book for me, when I want to pur purchase it on Etsy, the shipping cost is ridiculously high. And yeah, as much as I love her artwork, it's it's I I, I can't afford it. But I, I whew, it's a bit uh, I'm al almost paying the same amount of shipping, I think, than I do the book. I'm not sure, but the shipping cost on Etsy turned me down so many times, so I'm not even bothering to um, to take a look anymore. So this one, I believe, I think there was a, a small discount on this one too, if I'm not mistaken. And a short while after I bought this one or I ordered this one, uh, I decided to jump into the yearly subscription from Coloring Heaven because in the past year I have bought... Uh, almost every magazine that was out um, except for a, a few but I'm sure that I um, yeah that I will be saving money now with having a subscription because otherwise uh, per book it's uh, 10 euros for me to get it here and um, it's now cut in half the price with uh, the subscription and so the first one that I have to be, uh, or that I can expect, is the Mika Jelina uh, edition. So I'm very happy about that too. I don't have anything from this artist, so uh, super excited about that. And I'm not going to do a full free through on this one because most of the colorists already know the artwork of Momo Girl. It's amazing. So I'm very glad that I can uh, try to color her girls too, without having 
uh, having to to yeah give so much money for a coloring book so very happy that haven't colored in this one yet and the third book and also the last one for this uh, month sorry um, is Sweet Dreams by Alena Lazareva. It's the line art version because I'm not a grayscale uh, person. And this one was 350 on Amazon France, I think it was. And I decided to grab this one because it has two sets of the same pictures. So it's quite a thick book. And on the after the first um set of pictures you have some bonus ones from her other books and also in line art so that was very nice too this daylight lamp is playing some tricks on me i think i'm going to try and i hope it's not too dark to see no it's not making things any better I'm going to try to do it like this. So these are the bonus pictures that are in the book. Very lovely with this dragon. And a huge kitty. Beautiful one. And then you have the second set of the other coloring pages. And these are based on food. I'm not particularly a fan of just glasses and some food around, but it's definitely uh, a good opportunity to try and learn to color food better because I'm avoiding food and I don't want to. So I thought a combination of women surrounded by different fruits and um, I think these are just some flowers. I thought it was a nice idea. So you have some sweets here and cupcake and I think this... Is supposed to be a donut or something and then you have the apple so it's a variation between uh, yeah fruits and um, candies I think because I think these are um, um, I can't think of the word ice cream ice cream scones or, or uh, bowls or So very beautiful work. Love this one too. She's the cover girl. So I think it will be very nice to practice my food in this book. I was super excited to um, to find this one, especially at that price. <clears throat> this is playing. To try and set this again. Okay, and then we will start with the uh, art supplies. Starting with the smallest thing, but I'm very happy with it. And it's just a simple spray bottle to wet my um, watercolor paints. Um, before I had this one, I just did it with my um, water brush. But this is so much handier. So even <laughs> with... With something so small and silly, I'm really happy. So it's it's nice when I have my watercolors with me to start spraying. And it's just a, a great amount of water that it's uh, providing. So it, it had to be included in this haul because it's really helpful and I'm, I'm happy that I have it now. This one... Um, you have seen already in a separate video, I bought myself some iridescent medium by Winston, Winsor & Newton. Uh, thank you so much everyone for replying if the bottle uh, had to look like it did with me. And for the tip that I have to shake it before usage. Um, I've enjoyed working with this one already. So, uh, But since I bought it recently, I thought I would include it again. Um, in this haul so uh, in case you didn't see the video especially on this one very I, I recommend this very much it's a great tool to have 
And then in my discount shop, I've bought myself some gesso. Um, because there are a few, I think there are French colorists uh, that are using this quite often. And uh, they can be from Belgium also, from the French-speaking uh, side. I don't know for sure, but um, I love watching their channels. And they were very enthusiastic about the gesso. So uh, I decided to pick a bottle up myself. Uh, I did try to use it as an underground for watercolors. But I wasn't that big of a fan. But maybe I just have to learn some more. How to use this one so uh, it was 250 I believe that I paid for a large bottle um, so it's uh, definitely worth its money uh, but I will have to learn which manners of working that I can um, yeah can that I can do or that I can can follow so that was the gesso then from the same discount shop uh, I bought it <laughs> for the most part for this tin. I love these kinds of tins. And this was, I, I forgot the price, one, 150 also, I think. Anyway, it contains a few watercolor paints in a, a kind of, a, yeah, how do you call these things? A tablet it's looking like this and it's quite an amount of uh, product that you're getting so for that price and it works quite well I'm just going to grab my swatch book <clears throat> and these are the colors from that tin these ones and here you can see my usage of the iridescent medium that was a tryout on these paints and here also a bit but it's not that visible i think on camera but anyway basic colors but for some soft uh water coloring in maybe more of the cheaper books they're quite okay and i really wanted this thing i know it sounds stupid but yeah i love these kind of tins so that was that one and this past few weeks I have been totally crazy about water coloring um, I love watching coloring F's channel Frances she does some amazing works in her coloring books using a lot of different media uh, going from watercolor pencils to uh, normal coloring pencils to watercolor um, um, real watercolor sets and um, yeah we, we we talked a bit uh, the past few days and I uh, asked some advice to what to get and of course she, men she, she mentioned uh, a set uh, that I definitely would have to have and um, but I told her that it was already on its way but that will be shown uh as the last uh, product beforehand I decided to jump Francis doesn't have these but I decided to jump I was just so in love with this kind of box and since I have the Kuretake Gansai Tambi uh, um, pearl gold and gem colors I wanted a set with normal colors too or not um, metallic ones and I decided to jump for the 24 set. I had some coupons for Amazon France. And uh, I only had to pay 3 euros for this set. Because my amount of coupons was quite high. So, um, and the 30, I think it's 36 or 32 set. Um, was containing a bit more orange colors. But I thought, oh, okay, I can mix orange myself with some white and some red or one of the reds here. And um, it was also containing um, pearlescent silver, like in the Kuretake set, um, the pearl one and the, the gold one. There's also a light um, silvery color. I will show you. It's this one. 
I have it twice and for the third time I thought it was a bit silly to uh, grab the biggest set and like I was saying I didn't have to pay that much money to have some beautiful paints at home um, so very happy with these ones did I swatch them out yes I only swatched them in the lid of the box until now um, I was a bit messy here I didn't know how to um, yeah how to do them on the other side and later on it became quite clear so I very uh, I like these colors very much the raw umber deep is oh wow in, in this one for undersea underwater scenes uh, some are quite opaque but I think you can water them quite good like here you can see how they look watered down really really love uh, lovely colors very happy that I bought this set um, they don't need much water to be activated you have to uh, let them rest a little bit so that the, the uh, paint and the water can um, mix well together but then you're good to go and oh yeah I also saw this set uh, the bigger one on um, Amberley's um, channel Amberley Silencia I think it's pronounced she's a great colorist if you don't know her already check her out I will try to remember and uh, put a link to her channel below I will also link uh, Frances's channel below because if you don't know her already uh, take a look at her uh, channel too because she does amazing works with all different kinds of materials uh, yeah they're both two lovely uh, ladies and I'm glad to know them um, they inspire me so much with with their work because Amberley also did a background tutorial using these paints and it was fantastic so um, very happy that I have this set at home now too Francis, if you're watching this, I recommend these. And then the set that Francis was recommending. Ta da! I jumped. I wasn't sure at first, but yeah, after seeing so many uh, reviews on YouTube and um, yeah, seeing pictures on Instagram where these paints were used. Wow! They uh, just arrived yesterday. I've ordered them from AliExpress, so they took me, I think, a week or three to get here. But they came very well packaged. There was a, a plastic foil around uh, the box, so it was brand new. Um, yeah, can't complain of anything. Uh, I have a small... Um, yeah, I don't know how a small bump. I, it had a small bump here, but that's all that's uh, that's going on. So from coming from China to here with only this, it was uh, I was very pleased. So I have to. I'm going to open them. They come with a beautiful soft cloth with Paul Rubinson's um, picture on it. It's a bit strange that it's a Chinese brand because Paul Rubens, Peter Paul Rubens, is a Belgian painter. Uh, I really love his work. He's um, quite bombastic with, with uh, yeah, when when his ladies are very well known, they are, they are fleshy and... and um, real women with breasts and, and, and knees and thighs and, and a belly. Wonderful artist. I really love his work. So it's it's nice to have a set uh, that's named after him. And uh, I wish I could draw like Paul Rubens, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, I will have to do with the paints. And then I'm, all, I'm always... Oops... I'm always messing around with getting this out of the box, but I'm not throwing that box away. This beautiful pale pink tin. And of course I did swatch these beauties already. 
look at these colors especially this one I have a stickles that's quite the same it's grape crush I believe and this is called grape myrtle look at all these colors and you can see my spraying here already I have some stains of spraying and I did swatch them out on uh, the card that was uh, delivered with it this is a, a leaflet about the brand but it's all in Chinese so don't know what it's saying and I swatched them out on this card and I didn't throw away the stickers I just had to have them with me but in my swatch book they are, are more vivid I hope it's visible on camera Some are really shimmery, like this one, the flare red. And, uh, what is this last one? Flark? Purple? Flash purple. Well, I've written this down very nicely. <laughs> Flark. Flash purple. It's very shimmery too. And others look a bit more metallic. But so beautiful. That grape myrtle, wow. So uh, I'm glad that I have these ones at home now too. I'm always having trouble to close this book again. And I'm sure I will be having a lot of fun with these. I've uh, already chosen a picture where they will be used, not in a huge amount because the picture isn't suitable for a lot of glitter but when I was uh, searching for a new uh, picture to color in this one jumped right at me and so I decided to uh, go for it but I've seen an opportunity for some glitter of these paints so I definitely will be uh, using them in that book it's from uh, Rhapsody in a Boss, Rhapsody in the Forest by Kanoko Ogusa. I've uh, received this uh, coloring book from the publisher a while ago and besides a flip through, I was too afraid to color in it. <clears throat> but now I've jumped. And so, uh, yeah, that will be my next coloring project. Okay, that was it for my haul. I hope you all liked it and that there are products that you uh, yeah that you find interesting. So um, I will be leaving links for Francis's and uh, Amberle. We will see each other again for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.